What? I, you can't put this online. I'm saying the word <laughs> asshole like every five seconds. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hoje eu tô aqui com minha irmã mais uma vez. Say hi. Hi. Eu sei que vocês gostam muito ver vídeos com ela, então chamei ela a fazer mais um vídeo sobre expressões brasileiras. So I was just explaining, they really don't like you, but you're like, I don't know, they watch the videos when you're on, so I just thought, you know, I'd invite you back to... Okay. Even though they don't really, really like watching the videos. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> the video today is about Brazilian expressions. So we've done a video like this before okay. with Michelle, but she's not here. <clears throat> she's, she's still back in Brazil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say the expression in, I'm gonna translate it into English. Uh -huh. And then you have to try to guess what the expressions mean. But, so this is something I picked up on just this last trip while we were in Brazil. I heard like three expressions using like anus or asshole or butthole. Okay. Okay, so they're all expressions that have to do with butthole. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Super appropriate. So this first one, um, this is the first one I heard and it has to, I'll explain the story. It has to kind of do with the wedding. So this one is asshole turned towards the moon. Hmm. Okay. Asshole like pointed towards the moon. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one, this is one that's going to be hard to get without context, but go ahead and try to guess what you think it means. So I don't get context. Well, not at first. Some of them you might not need context and some of them you will. This one you probably will, but try to guess first. Okay. Asshole turned towards the moon. Yeah. It has to do with a wedding. Well, this I learned it at the wedding. Somebody used this expression at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to just give you context? No, let me try. Okay. Okay. On your wedding night. Make sure. Oh my God. Time out. <laughs> Please don't go any further. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not really what I was going to say. I have no idea, that's okay. so let me, hard. Let me give you some context, okay. right? So, it was raining when we got to Buzios, right? right? And we were really worried that it might rain the day of the wedding, because it rained the day before the wedding. And somebody said, I think it was Michelle's grandma, um, was talking to somebody else and they said, they asked her, well, are you worried that it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain on the day of the wedding? And she said, no, my, my granddaughter was born with her asshole turned towards the, the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not going to rain. So it means like, I don't know what it, it means. It means I have somebody, no idea. you can say somebody has their asshole or their anus turned towards the moon when they're really lucky. When they're oh. a really lucky person. I, yeah, still don't get it, but that's <laughs> a good saying. And I'm glad it didn't rain on the wedding day. Yeah, that's because she had her her coup. That's an important word for you to learn. Her coup in Portuguese. Coup. Her asshole. Yeah. Mm. Coup. Okay. Say it. Okay. This next one. It's uh, probably a little bit easier to get without context, right? Okay. What does the asshole have to do with the pants? Mm-hmm. Totally easier to get without. It context. is. Think about it. This one is more literal. What does the asshole have to do with the pants? Is this a riddle? No, no, no. This is like a, an expression. So you, something would happen, like you're in a conversation, and you'd be like, yeah, but what does the asshole have to do with the so pants? So like, what does the person who's kind of a jerk have to do with the actual issue? <laughs> no? Yeah, uh, a, kind of, but it's even g more general than that. It just means, like if you're talking about something and the person brings up something else, you're like... Oh, like what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. Got it. But okay. It's just a way of saying what does that have to do with anything. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. It's a little... Makes more sense mm -hmm. than the first one? Yes. <laughs> no, the first one makes sense now that I know. Does it though? Yeah. Because I mean, even I knew it. Like when I learned it, I was like, that... Why... Why does it make you lucky if your asshole, if your asshole is pointed towards the, the moon? I mean, I, I just get it. I don't know how to explain it. I just understand it. Do you? I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. To have your asshole in your hand or your asshole stays in your hand. Mm, like you're in big trouble. Mm. Like you... It has, it has to do with fear. <laughs> uh, okay. To 
have your asshole in your hand. I don't know, give me another <laughs> These are really hard. They are. So some context. Um, I'm waiting for the results from my blood test. I have my, my asshole in my hand. Oh, like your stomach, like it's like when you feel your stomach in your throat. That's what we say. Like Yeah, something like that. Like you're anxiously awaiting something. Like you something. have butterflies in your stomach, but you have butterflies in your asshole. But your asshole's in your hand. I, yes. Where did the butterflies come <laughs> because from? Because it's like, we have a saying like you have butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous. Oh. Uh, so it's like that. But they're in their, your butthole? Is that what you're saying? No, it's like your butterflies in your stomach, but your asshole's in your hand. That's the same thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you got that one. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. The fire in your asshole. That person has fire in their asshole. Like they're really passionate about something. That person has fire in their butthole. Asshole. What? I, you can't put this online. I'm saying the word <laughs> asshole like every five seconds. <laughs> Uh, that's not a bad word. Is it better than anus? Yeah, but it means like Isn't the person is really anus? passionate. Kind of. Not really though. Hmm. It means the person... Like this morning, when Everett was running around everywhere, uh -huh. he had fire in his asshole. Oh, it's like you're just go, 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 go. Yeah. But that's kind of like passion. See, when I heard this one for the first time, I thought it was like you ate something really bad and then you fire. <laughs> That's more literal yeah. translation. This Last next one. one, even the hair on my asshole stood up. That's like when you're really scared. And like the hair, The you hairs know, on your arms stand uh -huh. up, but even the hair down there stands up. It must have been really scary. Is that right? Yeah. I'm now I'm remembering we did a video like this already. Yeah, we did. We did yeah. one with Michelle, but just this time it was like, for whatever reason, they have like a million expressions with this word coo, like mm. asshole. Like I was looking online, I found like 25 wow. expressions with... How many did we do? One, two, three. We did six, six. And then I had another one that it doesn't have to do with asshole. Mm -hmm. But then I saw how many expressions do have to do with asshole. So I just was like, let's just make the whole video about asshole. Oh, well, they're good. <laughs> I would use them if I spoke Portuguese. Well, you're learning. Yeah. How do you say asshole? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we actually just got back from Brazil. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the wedding? It was beautiful. It was so fun. One was of the it? most fun weddings I've been to. We danced all night. Was it, what kind of surprise you was? It, was there something like the Brazilian aspects that you liked or thought weird or... I love the food. The food was so good. I really liked that we didn't do like a for in the U in the U.S. We sit down and have a formal dinner for about two hours and then dance. So I liked that there was food, but you could dance all night and then go get food when you were hungry. And I love that everybody danced, even the older people, until two in the morning. Tub it was yeah. so fun. And I love the music. What's the song I like? Bum bum tam tam. Boom boom tam tam. Boom boom tam tam. <laughs> I like the music. It was cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, even like our, our parents were dancing forever. Yeah, it was super fun. Michelle's parents. Um, um, Caleb, your husband. Oh yeah. Got down too. You should show the picture of that on this video. I'll post it right now too. Okay. Uh, no, nothing was that weird. No? Mm-mm. All right. I feel like you did a good job combining the traditions. Yeah, that's what, that's what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. It All was right. really fun. Well, thanks for joining me for another video. Thanks for having me. Now you'll know all these expressions when you go back to Brazil. Okay. Can't wait. I won't use them, <laughs> but I'll know them. Então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau.